Now, there was a very common question that I asked myself, and that was, is pop music really a genre of music? Now, a quick disclaimer before you watch this video. Make sure you have an open mind. You can't be here just to be like, oh, no, you're wrong. No, no, no. I always have the right answer. No, you're wrong immediately. Pop's always a genre. You always have to be able to watch these videos and kind of have an open mind, okay? It's a very confusing subject, I know, but please just hear me out just for a little bit. All right, to start this off, I think we should just look at the name of this genre. So, pop music. That's short for popular music, you know? Pop is short for popular. And apparently, if, like, pop is the sound or the genre to it, the question I ask is, what genre would that be if it wasn't popular? Which right there, at least you confuse. You're like, what the fuck? What? What? How does that make sense? You know? It's just like, there has to be an actual genre to it. Pop is not its actual sound. That's the one thing about it. Pop doesn't really have a sound that goes to it. Now, I would also say this. If you think that pop is a genre, then you're pretty much saying, like, the Beatles and Cardi B play the same music. Yeah, that, that doesn't really make any sense because they clearly don't. Cardi B has her own kind of R&B and trap style music, while the Beatles are really open to experimental music and, of course, classic rock and roll. And um, recently, I went on Omegle. Yeah, I, I mean, don't worry, I didn't see any dicks or anything bad. But when I went on Omegle, I did an experiment where I would hold up a little bit of a piece of paper that would say, pop is not a genre, change my mind. And, yeah, I'm totally, that was totally original. But anyways, I went on Omegle, and I ran into some people that would say, like, when I was comparing, like, Cardi B or anybody else in the pop charts right now, right now to the Beatles, you know, they would say, like, yeah, but they play, like, different types of pop music. I'm like, you know, thinking about it, like, yeah. They're playing two different styles. Those are called two different genres. They're two different genres. So pop can't be the genre of it because they play different type of stuff. And yeah, like you could say like Metallica and Cannibal Corpse, you know, they're types of metal bands. But the thing is that they also play different styles of metal. Like Metallica plays a type of sometimes thrash metal and just kind of classic metal, you know. But Cannibal Corpse is like freaking brutal fucking death metal. Like, oh, do, 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 freaking death. That's not really, like, Metallica, you know, because they play different types of metal, you know, because we have, like, power metal, we have death metal, thrash metal, you know, because they have different sounds. And, you know, you can't just say it's metal right there because it has a different type of subgenre that goes along with it. And with pop music, though, there are so many different styles. Actually, anything could be pop music if you think about it, like... This is how I think of it. So, the different types of pop music that were out there. So, the popular music. How about we go to when music was first created with flutes. And back then, they would use um, animal skin to create drums. And then, right here, I have my didgeridoo. You know? Mainly meant for types of tribal music. And technically, that's the same like, that, that's pretty much the pop music back then because it was the only music that existed right there. Now, I saw someone that said, like, pop wasn't created until the 80s or something, but pop music always existed. Pop was the popular stuff. And whether that was Mozart back then, because everybody would go crazy over Mozart. They would teach their kids. They'd be like, hey, I want you to play piano just like Mozart because that's how popular he was. People would go crazy over him. Back then, the Beatles, people would be screaming, going nuts, and freaking like, ah, it was it's the Beatles, you know, because they were the pop music back then. 
like I don't think you'll ever go to an Ed Sheeran concert and he'll bring out like these tribal music players and like didgeridoo players just to do a tribal song cuz well it's a different he plays a different genre than them like I think the simple way of just proving this is just typing up the actual definition to genre it says a category of artistic composition as in music or literature characterized by similarities in form, style, or subject matter. So this also goes for movies and stuff like that. You know, if you would just put something as horror, you know, there's actually a different type of thing going on to it, too, like to certain things. Like, there's just, like, pure horror, but then again, there's, like, action horror type of movies, and then there's, like, comedy horror. So if you think it would just be horror and then not put any other thing after it, not um, saying if it's action or comedy or just pure horror movie, you're pretty much saying that Sinister, a freaking terrifying movie that'll keep you up at night, is the same like Sharknado, which I think we can all agree that after watching both of those movies, those are not the same fucking movie. And you know, this type of stuff also goes with music where if it has that specific sound to it, where it kind of mixes two genres together, you know, you have to add something to the name of it. Like we have rap rock or funk metal, you know, it has a bit of rap in it, and then again, it has like that kind of rock feel into it, like kid rock, and then funk metal, like Primus and Tool sometimes, you know, they kind of add the type of stuff in there with the type of slappy type stuff, mostly Primus, but it's, it, it's like that where you have to, add something to the name because it has that specific sound and that's what really makes a genre a genre has a sound to it just like with a movie it has that specific feeling going on to it but with pop does popular popular really have its own actual feeling now nowadays you could kind of say it like that but know that someday that music is not going to be popular anymore just like classical music is that really the popular music now is that really what's on the charts i don't think so Mostly you got trap and alternative type of stuff up there because that's the actual genre to it. Because if you take away its popularity to it, and if that was the music that was underground, it has to be given another genre other than just pop because it doesn't really have a sound to it. Just like rock and jazz. And you know, jazz has different types like bossa nova and stuff like that because it has other sounds going on to it. And I also kind of bust on this type of stuff with other genres too, not just pop. But... Okay, most of it kind of has to revolve around pop. Like, I think once you put pop in the name of it, it just messes up the whole thing. Like, pop punk. is it Like, like Green Day and Blink-182, that type of stuff. You see, this is the thing with the name pop punk. Is it really popular now? Not really, no. But I would say it's alternative punk, punk done in a really different way. Like compared to stuff like the Ramones and stuff like that, it has a different type of sound going on to it. And also with K-pop, like I know if a K-pop fan would hear this, they would go fucking nuts on me. But K-pop is not a genre because this is the same for pop here or American pop, you could say. So and also J-pop because if you would compare stuff by BTS now, which kind of has R&B, uh, trap. Uh, trap and rap type of stuff and alternative you know that's the kind of sound that bts has but if k-pop's a sound then you're pretty much saying that the popular uh korean music back in the 1960s is the same which you know that it sure as hell is not but overall and in conclusion pop music is not an actual genre and really can't because Music has to have its certain feeling and have its certain sound for it to actually be a genre, and that's just how it works. I hope I changed some minds, and if I didn't, then just leave a comment down below where I can actually maybe explain it better to you, because I really suck at talking in front of a camera and then having to edit all the shit together. But, yeah, just leave a comment down below and just tell me what you think about it. Um, but overall, just thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.